Here's the reason why um, hydroboration oxidation goes anti Makarnikov. All right, so the regular hydroboration oxidation goes like this. So there's an alkene. We have le, the less substitute carbon and the more substitute carbon. The boron gonna goes on the less substitute one. All right, the hydrogen gonna go on to um, the more substitute one. So it goes like that. Now, right, so boron goes here, hydrogen goes here, and then uh, uh, we do um, the oxidation. So remove bo uh, remove boron. So you got OH there. Okay, this is an anti Makarnikov product. How come? Boron doesn't go the other way around, so borons go on to the um, uh, more substitute carbon. Here's the reason why. This guy is seriously hindered. There's just a lot going on in here. I got a methyl group, I got could be some other uh, alkyl group, could be something else on onto this side too. When boron gets close, it's not that stable. Right? So borons will never go on the more substitute carbon because of uh, the steric hindrance and go on to the Makarnikov product. So it won't go this way. All right. All right. Let's talk about uh, this is ratio selectivity. So this select uh, selectivity of carbon uh, uh, selective to the less substitute carbon or the more substitute one. Next one, we're going to talk about the uh, stereo specificity, uh, which, which, uh, which is caused in addition. All right.